asked me about what missionaries do. Basically, my family lives in different places and serves people and teaches them about Jesus. Hey Dylan, it's been two weeks now since I last heard from you. My mom says you guys had a bad flooding where you live and that's why you probably haven't gotten to send a video. Hey David, we finally have power back. Even though this has been super hard, it's been pretty awesome to see how people have been helping each other. It's all been sad and scary, but like my mom keeps saying, Jesus is greater than all things. Hey, Dylan. Dude, I was so glad to get your last video. That's awesome how all your neighbors are helping each other like that. We had a big snowstorm here once when I was little, and I remember our neighbors helping each other too. Mostly I remember the power went out and we put all the stuff from our freezer in the snow. It was cool. <laughs> Hope your football match ended up going well. Maybe someday, if we get to meet in person, you could teach me how to play. Do you think maybe you'll ever come back to the U.S.? Maybe for a visit? Or, or even be a missionary somewhere in one of the states? I just think it'd be really awesome to meet each other and be like in-person friends too, you know? Okay, well, see you in the next one. Hey, David. The football match was awesome. The goalie from the other team was just as good as I heard he'd be but I managed to pass from the corner and my teammate kicked it right in. It was a team effort, but it was the winning goal. So about us returning to the States, I know we'll be coming back someday. I just don't know when that would be. There's a lot of work still to be done here, but I know there's a lot of work to be done there too. Sometimes my parents feel overwhelmed by all there is to do in the world and how many people have never heard about Jesus. My dad talked about this with our youth group here just the other day. Our village is still recovering from the storm. Some days, it kind of feels like we will never get all the work done. My dad reminded us that one day, Jesus will return, and he's promised to make all things new. So when we are tempted to complain or get super bummed out, and trust me, I'm tempted to do that a lot. We can remember Jesus coming back, and for now, we should keep loving others the best we can. I think it'd be really cool to visit you though. I could teach you how to play football and you could show me some of your video games. Anyways, catch you later, bye.